Hey, hey guys, Brian Ponnell here. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I am going to be showing you a SEO on-page optimization tool today, and it is created by a very good friend of mine, Eric Lancheries. And he, if I think a lot of you know, will know him for um, his website, My Traffic Research, and he's also the Google penalty guy that the majority of the SEOs that I know turn to if they have issues okay including myself if I need any help from a penalty perspective I will turn to Eric but that's not all that Eric does is the penalty stuff he also has a monthly membership where he teaches people SEO and is always testing, tweaking and seeing other ways to get SEO to work. And this is his newest tool. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a froggy throat. And uh, quite frankly, it is the best on-page optimization tool there is on the market. And the reason for that is that it reads the pages as... Google reads a page, it includes what Google includes and it ignores what Google ignores. And what do you mean ignores what Google ignores, Brian? Well, if you've got loads of advertising on one of your competitor pages, for instance, or all of your competitor pages, um, or there's just some nondescript iframes that's full of content that isn't actually relevant to the page, Google will ignore all of that, um, but the other tools that are out on the market do not ignore that. So <clears throat> if you've ever used any of the other tools, you will notice that sometimes the words that appear in this, like you can see in front, these are the words that are missing. I'll, sh I'll talk you through these in a minute, um, but are totally relevant or they're a bit weird like con they say contact us or email us, telephone number. Um, cell number, privacy policy, all the way through to things that are clearly in adverts, okay? And sometimes the adverts have quite a bit of text in them, and that text is also counted in the in the word count. So when you actually go and have a look at the content for a comp competing page. The tools will say, oh, you need 2,000 words. But when you go and actually look at it, 500 of the words are through an advertisement that Google's totally ignoring anyway, or other bits of code that Google will be ignoring. Um, majority of the cases like your footer. All right. So, so this, as I say, reads your page as Google reads your page. So what I've done is I've put in my old uh, agency website here and the keyword that um, it should rank for. And green obviously is showing you, showing me that this word is in there. The number next to it is saying that 10 of the top 10 have Birmingham in, 10 have SEO, 8 have Google, 8 have results, and I have that in as well. The red is saying that I don't have it, okay? So this is very interesting that I've left this one out. Um, but again, you know, so I would need to put that in, need to put the reds in, okay? Now I first, I concentrate on the reds. And the reason I concentrate on the reds is because the yellows are a little bit more difficult, or yellows or orange. So the what these mean are they're entities that are missing. So we're not talking about keywords anymore. We're talking about entities. And these are good, these are entities as Google has picked them up. All right. So it's I've got PPC on my web page, but Google's not picking it up as an entity. OK, so it's probably something to do with the text that's around PPC. So the co-occurrence of PPC and what's there, which can um, maybe throw off Google's um, 
indicator. All right, so what we've got are all these different things. So I like to just I like to just work on the reds first, okay? Um, see how that works, and then come back and work on the yellows. All right. Next, so if I just scroll down, so that they're the words, okay? So we have keyword variations. These are like your LSI keywords, okay? And obviously. The competition on average has 52 or 53 and I've already got 21 so even though up here we have these numbers and the entities per page I'm better and I'm also better at the entity density if we come back down to here again the actual number of variations is a bit lower so I would still want to increase and you can see that because I've got lots of red that's that's why okay I just did quickly miss this bit here so I'm just gonna just quickly talk through it and the reason we're looking at averages here is because to make it just a little bit simpler okay and what we found is that if we're just a little bit higher in text and we're higher in entities and then we're better with the variations okay and we sort this this bit here out we rank better okay so just h1 h2 h3 h4 and images so the here i would really want to increase my number of images okay with these words just so you can see we can go to the words that are detected missing and then found but not found as an entity we've discussed the variations then we've got the related categories and we're 13.7 categories on the related entity category entities whereas I've only got six so but I'm sure increase it to putting all these words in that will increase this number over here and then it will increase this number here and we come back down to the page classification and again this is Google's classification I've not seen any other tool talking about this so it's we've got business and industrial business services and then we've got internet and telecom web services okay that's the same for the top five whereas if you notice mine is the other way around okay so I'm internet and telecom services first and then business and industrial services <clears throat> business services sorry and my confidence level even though it's high isn't up at the 99s like these two okay and again doing this content, adding this into the content will help. And then the final thing for this actual element here is, and the, which is the on page, it goes through and it finds which page on the website is best to get a link on. And here it's saying, you know, just link from the home page back to the home page, that's fine. But there could be other inner pages and lots of instances, I find lots of other inner pages that according to the classifications that Google uses is which where are the best page best pages to link from internally are okay very very powerful stuff and then I'm just quickly going to buzz through this other stuff okay so we've got link relevancy so you put your domain in put 500 up to 500 links here so what I actually do is I just use ahrefs and when I'm looking at the backlinks, I do one backlink per referring website and then stick them into here and it comes back and it shows us what, how relevant the links are. Content editor, that is literally, so you've got own one here, but if I come back to this page tool a minute quickly, it's the same thing as clicking here and then you, know, you can copy and paste your content in 
and then go through and start adding in your missing keywords. Okay. And then we've got the predictive guest post. What you can do here is when you've found your websites to actually get links onto, okay, or your writers have written some content before you put the content onto the guest post or onto your website or wherever it is, or PBN or wherever, you put it into here and it will tell you the classification. And if the classification is this classification, then you know that the content's correct. If it's way off, then you know that you need to get it rewritten, okay? And, and that's it in a nutshell. I wanna try and keep this under 10 minutes. We're at 11 minutes, so I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, the link to it is below and it's on special at the moment. There is no affiliate commission or anything in this for me. This is purely something that I'm sending out to you because I believe that it's a tool that you would really find useful. Okay, all the page, all the page, all the best in your on page. Have a great weekend. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.